open the garage door. How to make a DIY smart garage door open with a Raspberry Pi. Brought to you by Geekslam. See the full parts list at smartgarage.geekslam.com. On your computer, open your web browser. Go to raspberrypi.org. Go to Downloads, Raspbian, and download the light image. While Raspbian is downloading, download Etcher at etcher.io. Etcher's downloading pretty quickly, but Raspbian is still going pretty slow, so let's move on and install Etcher. Open Finder, and open the Etcher download. Drag the Etcher icon onto the application screen. Raspbian is still downloading, so let's set up the camera. Plug in the micro USB cable into the camera to boot it up. On your iPhone, open the App Store and install the iCam camera app. Open the HiCam app and register a new account. Log in with your new account. With the camera booted up and beeping, reboot the camera into AP mode by using the supply reset pin. Hold down the reset button until you hear a chime and a loud beep, and wait for the camera to reboot. Connect your phone's Wi-Fi directly to the camera. The prefix will be HI. Open the HiCam app. Because you're directly connected to the camera via Wi-Fi, wait for the app to auto-detect the camera. It might take a few seconds. Tap on Discover when you can. Tap your camera. Enter a name for your camera, and enter the password printed on the back of the camera. You'll then be prompted to enter your own camera password. Tap Settings and then Network Settings to configure your camera for your Wi-Fi network. After you enter your Wi-Fi password, the camera will reboot and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once the camera is back online, tap Settings and then Camera Update to update the firmware. Once the firmware update is complete, the camera will reboot again. Once your camera is back online, tap Settings and then Camera Management and turn on RTSP Authentication to password protect your network stream. 
go back, tap date and time, and set the time zone and then the date and time. Go back and tap the camera info button at the top and write down the IP address. Let's use some editing magic and fast forward through the rest of this Raspbian download. Open Etcher. With the microSD card plugged in, flash the Raspbian image you downloaded onto the microSD card. While your card is flashing, open Terminal and create a blank file called ssh using the command touch ssh. The flashing process will automatically eject your micro SD card. Reinsert your card, which will show up as boot, and then copy the blank ssh file you created in your profile folder over to the micro SD card. Eject your micro SD card and insert it into your Raspberry Pi. Plug in the network cable and power cable into your Raspberry Pi and wait about a minute for it to boot. Plugging in the display is not necessary. Open terminal and remotely connect your Raspberry Pi using SSH with the account Pi and default password Raspberry. Change the default password. Install Git onto the Raspberry Pi. Using Git, clone the Geekslant Smart Garage repository from GitHub. Run the Geekslant Smart Garage installation script. Configure your garage door opener and camera. Enter the camera's password and IP address so that the installation script can automatically create the configuration file for you. The script took 37 minutes to run on my Pi, so expect to wait a while. To edit your configuration, edit the config JSON in the var lib homebridge directory. Set the door opens in second setting to match your garage door opener. And if your camera IP address or password changes, or if you want to add a new camera, scroll down to the camera section. This is the case I made out of old Legos for my Raspberry Pi and Relay. There's access to the power, HDMI, and audio, as well as Ethernet and USB ports. There's holes on the side for wires, there's an access door for the micro SD card. There's pieces that stick out for mounting to a wall, and there's an access door on top for the GPIO pins for the Raspberry Pi. Connect two wires through the relay using normally open one and common one. These two wires will go to the garage door opener.
Use three wires to connect the relay to the Raspberry Pi. Connect VCC on the relay to DC power. Connect ground to ground and connect N1 to GPIO5. Connect two more wires to the Raspberry Pi, one to GPIO20 and the other to DC power. These two wires will go to the magnetic switch using the common and normally open terminals. I mounted my case to the wall near the ceiling in my garage. The two wires from the relay connect to the garage door opener using the screw terminals used by the existing garage door opener. The two wires from the Raspberry Pi go to the magnetic switch, with half of the switch mounted to the center channel and the other half mounted to the carriage slide, with the two sides lined up with the garage door closed. I mounted my camera to the ceiling using the supplied plastic anchors and screws. First screw on the camera base plate, and then twist the camera onto the base plate. In the Apple Home app, tap Add Accessory, then Don't Have a Code, then Geekspan Smart Garage, then use the code 12345678. Tap Room to create a new room called Garage, and feel free to change the wallpaper. Change the garage door room to garage. Tap the plus button at the top right to add the camera, then tap add accessory. Tap don't have a code, then garage camera, and use the same code 12345678. Change the room to garage. After a few seconds, you should see a snapshot for the garage cam. Press the garage door button to open and close the garage door. You can also use Siri to open your garage door. Open the garage door. Did you enjoy it? Like it, comment, and share it. Want to see more? Subscribe and get notified.